Well, we've thought about why we would learn from the Bible, how we learn from the Bible, and then just thirdly, I want to deal with how do I make sure that I'm getting out of the Word of God something? So I don't have that situation where I read a passage or even maybe I've thought about it for a while and I'm thinking I don't really feel like I'm getting anything out of it. Where do I start in terms of making sure that I'm seeing something in the Scriptures? What I want to deal with here is four C's to see in every passage. And they are context, creator, Christ and Christian. Now, what do I mean by that? Number one, the context. What's relevant from the context of either the book or the chapter that I'm reading? And that means looking at what goes before and what comes after. If we take something out of its context, we are very likely to start to misunderstand it or misapply it. You see, there's a big difference between the application of a verse and the interpretation of a verse. The application is perhaps where we take a verse and we say something that's, that's true, but it might not really be what the verse is saying when it's in its context. And really, yes, applications are, are useful and can be helpful and good, but ultimately we want to get beyond just applications of verses and think, what's the interpretation of the verse? What did it mean in its context? And what is the flow of the chapter or the book that we're looking at? Uh, one of the useful things we can do here is when we come to a, a book, just to read the book through several times and write a one sentence summary of each chapter. And we'll start to see the flow of the book. That's very useful. Uh, if we're looking at a chapter, then take the chapter and something that somebody recommended to me when I was a young Christian that helped me, and I've still got notebooks that were full of this, is just write the verse out in our own words and go through the chapter doing that. And it really means that we start to notice the detail and so on. And also on context, there might be some cultural things, there might be some geographic things of note, and they're all part of the context. Secondly, what does the passage tell me of my creator? It's God's word. So we would expect to learn about him. What does the passage tell us about the, the character of our God? Maybe there are things that it tells us about the way that God works. Who God is and what he does is really important. And time and time again in passages in the word of God, there will be things that we can learn about our God in his character and in his actions. Thirdly, Christ. The scriptures are full of Christ. You remember how on the road to Emmaus, in all the scriptures, he expanded onto them the things concerning himself. <clears throat> the Lord Jesus said that the scriptures are full of himself. And one of the ways that we can do this is whenever a person is mentioned in scripture, we can think of that person and think, how do they remind me of the Lord Jesus? There will either be things that are the same, and we say, yes, that reminds me of the Lord Jesus. Or we might look at them and say, those things are quite different. How different the Lord Jesus was compared to that individual. Now, when we think of people, maybe we think of pictures. And especially in the Old Testament, there's, there's some in the New as well, but lots of pictures of the Lord Jesus. There are lots of prophecies concerning him. Uh, fourthly, there are, there are principles. Maybe you're reading through the book of uh, Proverbs or James or somewhere like that, and you see what God says a godly person will do, and you can think about how perfectly the Lord Jesus did that. So the Lord Jesus, again, you could think about his person, you could think about his work. There's always plenty of Christ in the scriptures. Context, creator, Christ, one of the Christian. Let's be looking for practical lessons from the word of God. How does it encourage me? How does it challenge me? How will I live more for God because of reading the Word of God today. Now, as I said earlier, not all of the Word of God is about us. We need to be careful in the way that we apply verses, to not apply things out of their context and start trying to apply verses that don't apply to us today. However, all of the Word of God is for us. There are lessons that we can learn from every page of the Word of God that will help us in our day-to-day -day Christian life. Now, I hope that you find it exciting and interesting getting to know the Word of God. We've only started to scratch the surface on how to do it. If you've got questions from reading the Word of God, find a good Christian that you can talk over these things with. If you've got questions that I can help you with, feel free to uh, leave a comment or, or contact me. 
And don't forget too, if this video has been useful to you, then click on the subscribe uh, and the notification bell and there'll be more videos that I hope can be useful to you.